The recent attempt on Donald Trump's life has sent shockwaves through the American political landscape. This act of violence raises serious concerns about the state of political discourse and the potential for further escalation. The incident has understandably heightened security concerns around political figures and public events. The long-term consequences of this event are yet to be fully understood. This attempted assassination underscores the fragility of democratic norms and the increasing polarization of American society. It raises questions about the role of inflammatory rhetoric and the potential for violence in political discourse. The incident has also reignited debates about gun control and the accessibility of firearms. The need for unity and a return to civil discourse has never been more apparent. The attempt on Trump's life could have significant implications for the upcoming presidential election. It could galvanize his supporters and further entrench political divisions. It could also lead to increased scrutiny of security measures and the potential for restrictions on political gatherings. The event has injected a new level of uncertainty into the already volatile political climate. The investigation into the assassination attempt will be crucial in determining the motives and the potential broader implications. Understanding the factors that led to this act of violence is essential for preventing future incidents. It is imperative that the investigation be thorough and transparent to maintain public trust and ensure accountability. The nation waits with bated breath for answers. The United States has a long and troubling history of political violence, including assassinations of prominent figures. From Abraham Lincoln to John F. Kennedy, the nation has witnessed acts of violence that have shaken its foundations. These events serve as stark reminders of the fragility of democracy and the ever-present threat of extremism. The attempt on Trump's life is the latest chapter in this tragic history. Political assassinations have often been motivated by ideological extremism and deep-seated political divisions. The assassination of Abraham Lincoln during the Reconstruction era exemplifies the dangers of political polarization. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement highlighted the racial tensions that plagued the nation. These historical events provide context for understanding the current political climate. The history of political violence in the United States underscores the importance of vigilance and the need to address the root causes of extremism. It is crucial to promote tolerance, respect for differing viewpoints, and peaceful means of resolving conflict. Education plays a vital role in fostering critical thinking and countering the spread of misinformation and hate speech. The attempt on Trump's life should serve as a wake-up call to address the underlying issues that contribute to political violence. It is imperative to strengthen democratic institutions, promote civil discourse, and foster a culture of respect and understanding. The nation must learn from its past to prevent future tragedies. American society is increasingly polarized, with deep divisions along political, ideological, and cultural lines. These divisions are fueled by a variety of factors, including economic inequality, social media echo chambers, and partisan media outlets. The resulting polarization makes it difficult to find common ground and address pressing national challenges. The attempt on Trump's life is a symptom of this growing divide. The rise of social media has exacerbated political polarization by creating echo chambers where individuals are primarily exposed to information that confirms their existing beliefs. This phenomenon reinforces biases and makes it difficult for people to engage in constructive dialogue with those who hold different perspectives. The proliferation of misinformation and disinformation online further complicates the situation. The increasing concentration of media ownership and the rise of partisan news outlets have also contributed to the polarization of American society. These outlets often cater to specific audiences, 
reinforcing their existing beliefs and demonizing opposing viewpoints. This creates a climate of distrust and animosity, making it difficult to have productive conversations about important issues. The deepening divides in American society pose a serious threat to the health of democracy. It is essential to find ways to bridge these divides and foster greater understanding and respect across different groups. Promoting media literacy, encouraging critical thinking and supporting initiatives that bring people together are crucial steps in addressing this challenge. President Ruto's challenges in Kenya economic and youth discontent. President William Ruto of Kenya is facing mounting challenges, including economic difficulties and widespread youth discontent. Rising inflation, unemployment, and inequality have fueled frustration and protests across the country. The government's response to these challenges has been met with criticism, further exacerbating tensions. Ruto's ability to address these issues will be crucial for the stability and future of Kenya. Kenya's youth, who make up a significant portion of the population, face limited opportunities and a bleak economic outlook. The lack of jobs, coupled with rising living costs, has led to widespread disillusionment and anger. Many young people feel that the government has failed to address their concerns, leading to protests and calls for change. The economic challenges facing Kenya are complex and multifaceted, requiring comprehensive and sustainable solutions. Addressing issues such as corruption, mismanagement, and lack of investment in key sectors is essential for fostering economic growth and creating jobs. The government must also prioritize education and skills development to equip young people for the demands of the 21st century economy. President Ruto's ability to navigate these challenges will determine his legacy and the future trajectory of Kenya. He must engage in meaningful dialogue with all stakeholders, including the opposition and civil society, to find common ground and build consensus. Addressing the concerns of the youth and creating opportunities for their participation in the political and economic spheres is crucial for long-term stability and prosperity. The imperative of dialogue and the potential for new leadership. In both the United States and Kenya, the need for dialogue and constructive engagement has never been more critical. Open and honest communication between different groups is essential for bridging divides, addressing grievances, and finding common ground. This requires a willingness to listen, empathize, and compromise. The potential for new leadership to emerge from these crises offers a glimmer of hope. The current political climate in both countries presents an opportunity for a new generation of leaders to step forward and offer fresh perspectives and solutions. These leaders must be committed to inclusivity, transparency, and accountability. They must prioritize the needs of the people over partisan politics and work towards building a more just and equitable society. The challenges facing both nations require innovative thinking and bold action. New leaders must be willing to challenge the status quo, address systemic issues, and embrace new approaches to governance. They must also be adept at building bridges between different communities and fostering a sense of unity and shared purpose. The emergence of new leadership can inspire hope and renew faith in the democratic process. By prioritizing dialogue, collaboration, and the needs of the people, these leaders can help navigate the current challenges and pave the way for a more promising future. The time for change is now.